Welcome back to Fishing with Big Nasty. Today we're going out here on Lake Wiley and the wind is blowing hard. The wind has really picked up in the last little bit. We're going out here on the kayaks. You see two, right? That's because a good friend of mine, Brian with Flint Hill Catfishing, is gonna be out here with me today showing me the ropes on the kayak since I've never really been out on one, so. This ought to be interesting. Y'all might not want to miss this. Alright, yeah, paddle around a little bit of play now. I'm gonna I'm gonna look my camera up in the front here and I'm gonna hop in. Yeah, you won't have fun with that pivot until uh you get something that locks it in, but you burn stuff, that's all there you go. You're still stuck on the bottom. My problem is when it moves, I want to move with it. First thing you need to remember when you, while you're starting like this, is keep your spine, your head and spine in the center of the boat. You're still going to be wobbly because your stern is still caught. Still caught? Yep. Now, keep, oh, there you go. Keep it in the middle. Now, you got secondary stability. Flying over the center of the boat while you're paddling, that's some good practice while you get used to the way it feels, okay? You know, I thought about that. What's that? I thought about that. Yeah, get, get up. Bring that sucker down low as she'll go. And then slide your feet back where your heels, look. Where your heels, where your knees are going to be up about like this. And your heels are getting to see things. Like see, I didn't even do that. Yeah, you want to be here. That's going to give you something to push on. It will feel no better when you do that. Yeah, I'll take that swivel off. As soon as I get home today. You can't take it off, just figure out a way to lock it in. I can yeah. take it off. I just can't take it off right now. Yeah. You, know, you want to try to get them things where your heels are against it. Right here. Yeah, just something like that where it feels comfortable to you, where your knees ain't up in your jaw, but you know, you feel a little better about it. I don't see how nobody stand up on this thing. You'll see after a while. Something happened here. Sonar is going on. Shallow alarm. <laughs> Shallow alarm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of a See you water, you sure is moving around a lot. I see how you can stand. Look at that. That thing, you, I'm telling you, man, after you get, you're just skittish right now and you should be until you get used to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's keeping you dry right now. Getting up ain't no problem. Getting down, that's when you'll fall down. Really? Because if you lean sideways and you don't even know it, when you sit down, the boat's gonna kick you. Standing up's not a, not a requirement right now. Feel a little better down there? A little. I'm yeah. still moving around a lot. What's that? I'm still moving around a lot. The seat or the boat? Me. Oh yeah, well it's going to a little bit. The last time I was in one, it was a little one. Yeah. And um, I, um, I couldn't keep my butt still. Right. My butt was constantly moving. It was like my muscles in my butt was just. Yeah. Was constantly. Well, you're gonna feel that. You're gonna feel that a good bit in this at first. But you you gotta learn. You gotta learn that it's not falling over when it's doing that. Really. You know, it's not falling over. And I would show you if the water was warmer. But this thing, you'll go over and she'll catch she'll catch, but it don't feel like it. And if you keep going with it and not keep it spying over the center, then you're gonna go in the water. Where your head goes, that's where, you, that's where your body's going. Right, so, so just keep your head right there in the middle. Just spying over the top and just, all you gotta do is just start relaxing and try to keep it in there and try to, look at my strokes. I pull like this. And my battle's too short. See that thing back there and you wanna turn. I don't really like it right now, to be honest with you. I mean, it just makes me a little nervous. Because of the movement. I can't, 
can't imagine this thing in the river. But I will have to tell you, it's a big boat. So there's a lot of it out the water. Yeah, you're fine, dude. As much weight as I got in here, I'm kind of amazed with that. Well, like I told you, my boat is probably meant for my weight as a max without any fishing gear, and I have it 100 pounds overloaded. Do I like wiggling? That's me. Yeah, I would hate to be out there today with boats all around. Moving up and down, throwing waves. Nah, I don't think I like that. Throw a boat, it's gonna happen. Even when you're in a big boat, you stand up to move, you feel it. So you know you're gonna feel it more than this. And in the river, I'm telling you, when the water warms up, it, it ain't nothing to it. Like you said, you ain't scared when you got a life jacket on. Don't want to lose your gear. You just get used to feeling the water. Well, I got leashes on everything. Yeah, well, that's I smart. I mean, even my scupper plugs. That's smart. I got leashes and everything's attached to something. Yeah, well, I said 90% of it is just learning to keep your head over the top. And if you stick your paddle in the water, keep your spine over. You can feel, I can move that thing just about anywhere I want to go. You see how this boat's moving right now? Yeah. That's all me. Uh, That's all me. Yeah. I can't keep. Can't keep it from wobbling. I'm a little nervous, so I'm just I'm constantly moving. That's that's normal though. Don't beat yourself up over there. You're gonna like you ain't been in these things, man. Uh -huh. I've been paddling these things for over for over 20 years. So you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. gonna feel it's gonna feel a little bit shaky on you. But I couldn't have never done that with that seat. Oh hell no. Uh -uh, it's tricky right now with me in it. <laughs> Way. No, this would not have been a fun learning experience for you, buddy. No, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Well, when, like I said, the main thing... The good thing, part is I can go back home and undo it. Yeah. Well, I just also, thought it would be easy to... You know, they're talking about how easy this thing is to stand up in. Yeah. And all that stuff. They're not 320 pounds, Jeff, and they're not 230 pounds, some of them like me. Right. And I thought, I thought to myself, well, okay, if you can stand up on the thing, it will make make it a whole lot better on you if you can swivel the seat around and fish backwards. Absolutely. Now the only problem with fishing backwards, now your weight's dipping down here so that back end's gonna be wanting to do that, this end, when you flip around. Really? So you ain't gonna be able to fly. I think that was more for being able to grab something out of convenience, you know, if your flexibility wasn't too good. But there's some, uh, there's some spots in here. Like I said, your spine, when I'm moving, I don't even know it, but I'm, I'm keeping my spine over the center and it don't rock as much. The boy scared? told me last night. What's that? Uh, this boy I was talking to on uh, on uh, Facebook last night. Yeah. He said something about that seat. He said, you better take that swivel off. He said, you're going to be in the water. He said, you better put that seat down as low as it'll go. You better take that swivel off. And do it. <laughs> you knew what you were talking about, guy. That's it, man. So. I, mean, I like the swivel, but I don't know if it's going to be a necessity. So you don't think it's going to be I don't think so. I think I'm gonna keep it just like this because when I was up where I wanted to be high, uh -huh. it didn't feel right. <laughs> so push with your top, pull with your bottom. All right. It's nice, just nice steady strokes. And then when you want to slow down, drag a paddle on the left, drag a paddle on the Do right. Do I gotta turn it around? What's that? Do I need to turn it around if I wanna drag it? Now or you just gotta stick turn fast over the paddling fast on one side do this here look put the same behind you right up against the side of your boat whichever way you turn it the way it's gonna go you pull in towards the boat like a rudder you pull in your your stern's going away from where you're pulling so you're pulling towards the boat your stern's gonna go away which means your front end's going that way see that's a draw pry you come right off the back of the boat and pry it's gonna turn you that way I got you now remember, don't try not to get in here like this. Arms out. This is a this is a pivot, and this is your mechanical advantage. I'm turning like this. I'm paddling like this. I'm putting my back in it because that's the strongest part I got. I'm pushing with the top end and pulling with that bottom end. And you let it go right about here by 
your waist, stop paddling. Pull back too far and you're going to start twisting your body and shifting and stuff. Just, you know, yeah, you don't mean it's a hard, fast rule, but yeah. it'll keep you where you need to be paddling. I felt pretty good the way I was digging a minute ago. I don't know if it was right or not, but right. I felt pretty just, good about it. Just get where you need to go right now. That's all you need. Getting it perfectly right ain't really what you need right now. Getting it, you know, where you feel comfortable is what you need. I wonder how much these lessons is costing me. Yeah. Well, the cold water scares me a little bit. And also, Jeff, you got a bunch of clothes on right now and everything, you know what I mean? It's just going to feel different right now. Really? I, I promise you to stick with it. You'll get comfortable with it. Don't give up on it. I ain't. It's going to feel weird at first. I got too much money in it not to. I'm going to have to ride or die on this one. It doesn't feel natural because it's not. It's getting better. Just take two of it, man, that's all. It's getting better. All right, the first lesson is done. Now I'm resting my behind a little bit. <laughs> my instructor uh, is over here wiring his boat up. Hey, hey. What's up? What's happening, you two? That's Brian with Flint Hill Catfishing. He um, is out here giving me some lessons on the kayak and uh, I'm glad I waited on him because uh, he's taught me a lot already. Starting to get a little bit more relaxed on the kayak, but I'm gonna tell you, when I first got on it, I wasn't digging it at all. Um, the more I started relaxing, the better it started feeling. Well, worst thing I could have done is put that swivel on my seat. That one right there. This ain't my boat. This is his boat. He took the seat with the swivel so I wouldn't end up in the lake. So he's wiring up his little fish finder right quick and we're gonna go back out and he's gonna fish for some perch, I think. And uh, I'm just gonna paddle around and kind of get used to things. We might come back on the bank in a little bit and do some fishing, so stay tuned. As far as the kayak review, pretty happy with it. I've already checked my <clears throat> dry storage up underneath. I've got no water in it. Um, fish finder's working pretty good from what I see. I don't know a lot about a fish finder, but I like it. Can't tell a whole lot about it yet. All I, all I see is uh, the water's like five foot eight inches right now. 52 degree water. I got 12.5 volts on my battery. And Brian's been real good about teaching me the ropes about kayaking. He seems to be very knowledgeable. Very nice guy. Um, can't say enough about 
what he's taught me so far. I'm glad I waited to go out with him rather than trying to go out on my own. So don't laugh at me if you see me doing stuff wrong. I'm not a kai. But by spring, I'm going to have this wolf. And I'm going to be on the river. Kitchen and big old fish. First and only fish of the day. Little baby blue. Well, I didn't die. As a matter of fact, there she sits safely in our new home. Yeah, I figured out a way to get this thing into my building for my truck by myself and possibly back into my truck. I couldn't get this thing out of my house by myself earlier. Um, I had to get Brian with Flint Hill catfishing to help me get it out and uh, load it up because it's so dang heavy and awkward. Wouldn't go through the door without turning it sideways. So now I got it in my building with double doors and uh, I can scoop this thing on my truck by myself now. All I gotta do is get close enough and uh, I can just slide it in and out. It um, was a very unique experience today. If you're not used to a kayak, um, it's hard to explain um, what it feels like to be on one kind of for the first time. I was on one years ago, a little cheap one from Walmart. It wasn't a good experience, but you know, over the years I've just kind of forgotten everything that I learned from that kite. This one was a little bit similar when I first got on it about being unstable or it felt like it was unstable to me. And it was because I was trying to compensate for the water moving around. And um, once I learned to relax a little bit, it got better. Thanks to, um, Brian from Flint Hill Catfishing. I can't thank you enough, brother, for, for showing me the ropes today on this and helping me uh, get acclimated to it. Um, he helped me learn to relax a little bit, and after I got to paddling around, I felt a whole lot better about the, the whole situation, and uh, turned out to be a pretty good day. We actually got to do a little bit of fishing, not on the kayaks, because uh, the wind was rough. Even back up in that cove where we were as calm as the water was, the wind was just blowing us all around. So it was just about impossible to fish off these things today. So we resorted to fishing from the bank a little bit and I actually managed to catch a pretty small blue cat today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I know y'all wanted to see me in the water, but I didn't want to be in the water because the water was 51 degrees. So uh, glad that didn't happen. But um, first voyage went fine. Can't wait to get out on this thing again. So thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all later.